An historic victory for Angola. They have won their first ever knockout stage game in an AFCON and their largest victory ever in AFCON history. Let's run the intro and talk about the game. And dominant performance by Angola. They destroyed Namibia. Destroyed them. I thought it was going to be 1-0. Okay, maybe Mabalulu gets the only goal of the game. Even after they went to 10 men because Neblu, the goalkeeper, with one of the most idiotic red cards I have seen in a while. Why are you handling the ball? I understand you think in your box. That was just plain stupidity from him. But it didn't matter. Because Angola, Angola, Angola. These guys are for real. And I mean for real. The play of Gelsendala, Freddy, and Mabolulu, they can win this AFCON. They can, Angola can win this AFCON. They are on a momentum, people. They are keeping clean sheets. They are scoring for fun. They faced adversity versus Algeria. They came back. Today, dominant performance. Professional. It looked like Angola. This side haven't been in the AFCON for a while. And they definitely haven't played a knockout stage game in a long time. But they look like they have played in the knockout stage every AFCON. With the way they just were prepared, tactically, mentally as well for the game. Absolutely stunning performance from Angola. Namibia, I'll quickly talk about them. I think their lack of experience really showed, and maybe their quality showed as well. It wasn't their day. It wasn't. The goals they gave up, pretty soft. And when they had possession of the ball, you could just see this team haven't kept a lot of possession during this tournament they didn't really know what to do with it and that's kind of a sad thing what Namibia have been so good during this tournament is when they have the ball quick counterattacks quick counterattacks and they showed it at times especially when the Nebulu got the red card but other than that it's pretty disappointing performance from Namibia but other than that they should be extremely proud of what they have accomplished and they can just keep getting better and better from Namibia there's there's nothing wrong with losing to Angola in the round of 16 nothing obviously their rivals and everything like that but Namibia should be very proud of their tournament. Of course, it's going to be a sour note losing 3-0 today. It just wasn't their day. It just wasn't their, their, their day, excuse me. Well, this is all about Angola because Freddy is a baller. I said this in the, in the predictions for the round of 16. If Freddy plays well, Angola play well. If Freddy doesn't play well, Angola don't play well. Freddy is that guy. That pass he made to uh, Gilson, I can't remember. I think it was Gilberto who played the pass into Freddy. For the first goal, stunning goal by Angola. Stunning goal. It just looks like it was a training ground routine. Im immaculate pass into Freddie's path, and he cuts it across. And then it's Freddie again from a set piece, and Gelson with the header, 2-0. And that was straight after Namibia got the red card. It, another just stupid red card. You're already on the yellow card. Why are you making that challenge? Why? Why? There's no need for it. In a three-minute span, I think it was three-minute or four-minute span, Angola scored the first goal. Namibia got the red card. Angola scored the second goal. Just when you lose all momentum and then you're just confidence within the game, because as long as the game went longer nil nil, Namibia would have gone more confidence and more confidence. But unfortunately for them, it wasn't meant to be. And then Mobolulu just said, Here, you want to see an R1 circle finish? This is the definition. Oh my God. That finish was disgusting for Mobolulu. When a guy's on form and with confidence, he finishes like that off the, the curl. Oh, it's like a golf shot. In a golf shot, it's just twisting, twisting, twisting. It looked, it was unreal finish from Mobalulu. 3 0. They could have scored more. I think it was Lovombo who came off the bench. See, that's the, that's the thing. Angola have players off the bench that can make a difference with Lovombo. He hit the crossbar and then he was just dancing with the ball at times and the crowd was going crazy. Now, Angola, they're in the quarterfinals for the third time in their history. And this is their first ever knockout stage win. Huge congrats to them because I really thought 
before this tournament. Yeah, okay, they're a decent side back in the AFCON. This is this is unreal. What they are doing right now is unreal. And now they set up a date against either Nigeria or Cameroon. And with the way they're playing, they can win. They can definitely, definitely win. Organized team, strikers, midfielders, wingers, all on form. Defensively, such a solid team. Back-to-back clean sheets. What a tournament for Angola. What disappointment for Namibia today, but take nothing away. Angola are the real deal team. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, people. Can Angola now win the AFCON with the performances they are doing right now? And let me know your thoughts. Are, are Namibia in the right track? Just a setback today, but they should be very proud of their performance throughout this AFCON no matter what. But everybody, now it's time for Nigeria versus Cameroon. Join me for the watch on. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. Till next time. Adios. Thank you.